my cup with some job love. Sit on down, let's talk it up. I know some laughing lattes, laughing lattes. Welcome to Life and Lattes with Liv and Cole. I'm Cole. And I'm Liv. And welcome to episode 24. 24. All right. Sorry Weird. we missed last week, guys. Sorry. We, uh, <laughs> Liv and I had our wedding shoot. We uh, did. It went pretty well, I thought. It did. The weather was great. The bride and groom were super chill. Super chill. Um, and they took direction very well. Yeah. Like you were just like... This, this, I was just like, bossing everybody around, yes, you know. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. I don't think we talked about this. It was actually really funny. Like now that I'm thinking about the wedding, um, I meant to tell you it was so funny. Oh like when you would walk away and you just leave it to me, I'm like, Liv, worry. <laughs> Liv, <laughs> you was panicked. Liv, come back. <laughs> Liv, <that's> scary. <laughs> like so, please, so, just tell them what to do. Yeah, come back. I don't know. I don't know what to tell them. Yeah, I'm like, I was just hitting the shutter button. I'm like, yeah. please tell them what to do because this is not my thing. Yeah, I was just like bossing everybody around and like posing people and just Cole was just like snapping all the photos. Yeah, I was scared to death. Which is great. <laughs> Somebody tell me what to do. <laughs> this is not my thing. <laughs> I was so nervous. You did great. Thank you. You did great. No one would have known, <laughs> really. Um, okay, so coffee today is kind of special. Um I know like a couple episodes ago, we talked about the Nespresso and Mm -hmm. for those of you watching on YouTube, we brought the machine in today and not only that, we have the machine, we have five different pods and I brought in the Starbucks creamer that we talked about as well. Yeah. So we have all the goodies. I know we do. (laughs) We're about to rip up this carpet and see if there's hardwood underneath. (laughs) Right. (laughs) If you know the reference, then you are our people. Yeah, you're awesome. Liv and I were actually watching that before we went to the <laughs> wedding. Just just yeah. laughing. Just sitting on her couch, just like laughing. Uh, uh, but anyways, so okay. I have the special spoons and the cups and the whole deal. And I figured I will make a cup or make the cups. Let's do it. On the show. So. Um, Ooh. I know. So you hit the little so thing. fancy. And it pops up. I even cleaned it. Oh, here. Let's talk about this first. So like you need to. We're going to get your cup going here. Okay. And then we'll talk about these. So. These are cute little pods. They're so like foiled and colorful. Yeah, they're fancy, aren't they? Yeah, so they're they're, they're really aluminum. Fancy. They're yeah. all aluminum. So then they uh, you put them, when you're done with them, you put them in a bag. Well, they can reuse these. And they're recyclable. So or you, like, yeah. you can put them in a bag and you like get points for it. There's like a whole system, right? Oh. So I just get like bags of these things. Yeah. Ah. Hold on, I dropped one. <laughs> My clumsy self how do dropped you, one. Um, how do you know what's what? Okay, so that's where it gets interesting. So remember we talked about this a little bit ago. Like yeah. they all have different like, I think they're Italian They're like names. weird names. Yeah. Not so, weird, but not English. So this is the mystery blue pod. I have okay. no idea. It's there's, fantastic. There's literally nothing on it but the Nespresso logo. Exactly. This looks like hazelnut. So that that is hazelnut. Vanilla. Vanilla. This is like I'm a lighter sure. blend and then... This one is too. They're both okay. like a lighter. Okay. Because, so they measure these in intensities. So um, there's like different kind of intensity levels. Like the darker colors are of course, you know, a higher okay. intensity. And I believe the scale is like a one to 10 type of thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. So like, oh, there's a lot of not, I think this one's like an eight or like a seven or eight or something like that. Okay. And then these are like three fours. And then these are the vanilla and caramel. Those are both like um, part of their like dessert blend type Sweet. and these are so there's different pods like these are the seven yeah 7.7 7 ounce mm-hmm. so this is like a normal kind of cup of coffee but then they have like bigger ones i think they gotcha. go all the way up to like a 12 or 14 ounce and then they have little like however much coffee is however big the pot is and so gotcha. you can always tell by looking at them oh. so i have one that's like maybe uh like three quarters the size and it's like an espresso, like an espresso. actual, yeah. you know, it comes out and it's like literally like right. two or three ounces. Um, so they have some of those that are specifically for espresso. And okay. then some of them, uh, like one I have, the smaller one, it's super intense. And if you try to drink it by itself, it's like, whoa, oh, grow oh my hair gosh. on your chest. Yes. Yeah. Real quick. <laughs> um, but then we went into the store and talked to them and they were saying that was one of the ones that they say is designed to be drank with milk in it. 
Okay. So I'll take that, heat up a little milk, put it in there, gotcha. and then put a little cream, and it's awesome. It's fantastic. I wish I could have done that it today, is. but I was like, it's it's you know, it's, it's an lot, intensive process. Sure. Um, I know. I think this is an older machine. Like I've looked online and stuff, and they've updated some of their stuff recently. Okay. Um, but the mechanics of it is great. Like you, you can take the sides off without opening up the top, and the left side is water, and the right side actually collects all the pods. Oh. So after you're done and you lift it up, it actually it takes it and shoots it back into there. What? So, uh, pick which this one you're, is which one fancy. you're thinking. I don't know. These are. I love hazelnut, so I definitely want to try that. Uh, okay so let's go ahead and Kay. so you just put it in so like this machine actually reads there's a barcode that's a barcode oh like on the back side of it yeah what and so when you put it in the machine it so actually it reads knows it. like the size it knows the size it knows all the different things to do this is it's super fancy. high tech so then it punctures it you put it down and then you lock it in okay and then you just hit the button once and this is and the it first. Does it th- it's this thing. is the first cup it's making, so it takes a second. Um, but literally, like when the sh- machine's warmed up and ready to rock, like it's it's quick. Whoa! I know. <laughs> it's cool. It's got like a cleaning, you know, cleaning mode that sits there and it cycles yeah. through hot water. Yeah, you know, it heats up really quick. It, it, I don't know if you saw on the front. It's actually a Breville machine. I it's did not see teamed it. up with. Okay. So all right, you know, all right. I'm I, I'm sure they make regular uh. coffee makers. It's happening, no, everyone. Can you hear it? You can. <laughs> but see, look. So it it pumps out some foam and everything, and yeah. then you can see the coffee as it as it starts to do the rest of it. What? Okay, yeah. I want to try this like without cream first. Yeah. It's it's gonna also be very hot, just so you know. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, it comes out like piping hot. Piping so. hot. Which is, I mean, think about how fast. Like we put the pod in, did it, and it's done, and it just was like. Boop. And see, it puts a nice... Wow, that looks so pretty. Isn't that fantastic? It looks really nice. I feel like I want to take a boomerang of it. Right? I know every time I make something in this, like, I always want to, like, shoot it because, like, it does does so many cool things. And these these cups, (laughs) these cups are awesome. Oh, my gosh, I'm in the background. Like the reflection on the machine. (laughs) Uh, The machines aren't bad. Um, like I said, I won this at work. Yeah. Um, but like, if you buy one, they're like a hundred bucks, hundred twenty bucks. Like, none of them are more than. And if you buy like, if you spend like a hundred sixty, like you get the. It comes with a kit, and it comes with like extra pods and a cup, and it also comes with uh, like they have a milk frother. Yeah. So you can do the whole shebang. Wow. Fancy, right? It is super fancy. <laughs> okay, can I take it now? Yeah. It's so cute. Yeah, boom. Look how, like, there's foam on top. It's like the perfect. How do they do that? I don't know. Confused. <laughs> this is sorcery. Right? Like, this should not be. It smells good. So, um, the blue pod is kind of like my favorite right now. The mystery dark blue pod. <laughs> the mystery dark blue. I can just call it the mystery pod. Like, all right, all right. They're like, what are you, uh, what, which one are you drinking today? Because everybody's been asking me at the office. And they're like, oh, they're yeah, like, it's the I, mystery pod. Do they know about the mystery pod, too? Well, I've just told them that I'm like, it doesn't say anything on it. Because everybody's like, what's that one? I'm gotcha. like, I don't know. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so then you'll see here when you oh, pop yeah. it. So you just do that. <gasps> Literally slides it back in and puts it in the thing. What is this? Yeah. Witchcraft. <laughs> see, I was like never a Keurig fan. Yeah. Like I was like, yeah, you know, like I get it. And it's quick and it's easy. And like right. it made, and I'm sure they paved the way for stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But this is fantastic. Yeah, I feel, yeah. I think Keurig was like the one that really started this game. Oh, for sure. Like I give them credit for like the pods and all that stuff. But the thing is like their pods are plastic, you know, with aluminum tops. And so you're, most people are just, Throwing, throwing them away. away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know that Keurig has like a variety of different like machines and right. different, you know, whatever. Yeah. There's a lot to their, their stick as well, but this is good. This is like for, I've had people tell me that people who aren't coffee people will try coffee out of this thing and they'll actually drink it, which I think is crazy. That's weird. I know. <laughs> like it converted like my boss, it converted him. He was like, we went to the store and they were like, here, try it. Like, you can go in. They'll just make you a coffee like, just like this. And they're like, here. And you just take it. They're like, here's, there's not like a tiny amount that they yeah, give you. They're like just like, sample, here's a full, like cup. A full cup. Like, here's a full cup. 
it has a coffee bar and like everybody yeah. talks to you. They keep the pods in the back. So like you have to like, you order them and then they bring out yours. And then, I think there's 10 to one package and they have all the different cups. They're all different sizes. Like these come with spoons and everything. So cute. And like okay. I said, it doesn't break the bank at all. I mean, technically the pods are like a dollar a piece. So every time you make a coffee, it's like a dollar. It's true. Which I think makes that's, and that's why I've, I was not going to keep the machine, but that's why I kept it because I've been really trying to be budget conscious and this has made a big difference. Yeah. Versus going to a coffee shop and spending three, four times as much. Exactly. Yeah. It makes a big <laughs> difference, I think. Yeah. And it's fancy. I don't know. It just, did you try it? I did. What do you think? I said it's good. It's tasty, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It does a good job. I really dig the foam situation on the top. Like, I'm just so like, how is that? I don't know how they how do it, How are they it, doing it? Because it's just coffee. I know. There's no, like, there's no milk product. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> it makes no sense to me at all. Yeah. I love the way the glass cups work, but, like, for those of you listening, I definitely always recommend pairing your coffee with an ember. An ember mug. Yes, yes, yes. I want to try the, the caramel. Okay. Caramel. I know situation. I call it caramel too. I think it, I think that's a well. I I would say it's an Indiana thing, but I think it's just Audrey says it. She says caramel and then caramel. Oh, know. she says caramel. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. But like caramel for like you know caramel Indiana. Well, yeah. Oof. <laughs> Lives excited. Yeah, I'm really jazzed right now. I know it's actually kind of fun making the coffee. Boom. So yeah, so for those for those of you that are that actually like drinking coffee and interested in this, I highly recommend the machine. Like it's totally worth it. And they have a lot of cool stuff. The store is um Keystone Fashion Mall. And so just go in and like try the coffee. If we're on the south side, I would just like stop in there every day and be like, you know what, I think I want to try just this one new coffee today. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, like, can I try this please? Yeah, right. Like I haven't tried that one. Yeah, I know. I um, I tried. Let me see if I can pull up their Oof. yes their flavor map because I know that uh, I know they have like a whole deal. They gave they'll send you the different stuff. Like when you buy when you buy it, they give you you know sheets of like the different stuff. Like there's a menu at their place, right? Gotcha. So you can like look through the menu, but still, yeah. it doesn't. It's not like, oh, here, like this one, like this one literally says Malazio and it doesn't, it's not like you can just go and look at the menu and you're like Malazio and it says blah, 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 you know? They it like, tells you what they, it is. They tell you. Gotcha. Which I think is, I don't know. It's interesting for sure. Um, but so the, the people are super nice. We have a Keurig and we usually, I think we've talked about this on an episode. We try to get like a dark roast just because in a Keurig, I don't think you like really get the true Mm -hmm. like flavor of a coffee or intensity of the coffee. So we usually do a dark roast that way. It's like strong enough for us, but I feel like this doesn't alter the taste at all. The Nespresso. Yeah. It it seems more true to form, right? Yeah. Which, which I agree with. That's why I like it because I've used, we have a curry at work and I've used it multiple times and I was like, it just didn't do it for me. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, and like I said, this doesn't cost any more really than a, than a Keurig. Yeah. Just the pods. The pods are do. more, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Oh man. I'm not going to chug this coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. You're almost done already. <laughs> like halfway through. Liv's not messing around. No. And the I told you good. I needed coffee. <laughs> <laughs> told you. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything over the machine uh, or any of the stuff, like totally hit us up. We'd be more than happy to help out. Otherwise, go to the Keystone Fashion Mall and go to the store. It's uh, it's actually like pretty much directly in front of the Apple Store. Okay. So duly noted. You can go look at your MacBook Pros and then or iPhone 11, I should say now. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness iPhone 11s, and then you can go get yourself some Nespresso. <sighs> what? I just really want <laughs> the new iPhone. Really? Yeah. Why is that? What? What is it? You know, it's funny that you say that because I almost put it on the list of things to talk about today, and I figured, yeah. What is it that appeals to you about I, it? I really kind of dig the new camera situation. On the 11 or the 11 yeah. Pro? Oh, 
The one with the three cameras or the yes, two? Yes, okay. the three. Like, that's trippy. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? I feel like, I mean, I know they fix, like, other, like, little things. Very minor But things. it's very minor. And really, like, the biggest is, like, the look of it and the camera. I actually really like that they did a matte finish on the back of it. Yeah, I know. Me too. Do you too. see the green? Mm-mm. They have a what they call, I think, a midnight green, and that's on the pro only. And it's oh. like a matte green finish. It's very subtle green. Okay. And it's so close to maybe, gray. Okay, maybe I thought it was gray when I was watching like the video of Because yeah, I think they have what? They have the gold, they have the space gray, and then the, and then the green. And I want to say there was a fourth color, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know. To be I think it's honest. three. But yeah, no. It's it's definitely interesting. So the camera situation. So what do you know about the camera situation? What do you mean? I mean, like, so it's got three lenses. You know, yeah. the, like, um, did you check it out at all? Yeah. So the three different ones, like, you can do, like, closer up and then normal and then more, like, a, a wider angle. Yeah. So you can switch that just by, like, tapping on the screen. So I know I'm kind of, like, giving this away by asking this, but do you think right. Apple's the first one to do that? No. Yeah. No, not at all. Yeah. But I also know that they all copy each other. Oh, for sure. But the so. funny thing is, is Apple is on the back end of it now. Yeah, which, kills which me. is funny. Well, like even like I listen to a lot of tech reviews and stuff like that. Uh, but it was interesting to have them talk about that. because They were talking about like the 10s camera and the differences between that and like Samsung or the Google Pixel. Those are really the only two Android phones that have good cameras. Yeah. Um, or at least that people talk about. Mm-hmm. But it was interesting to kind of hear some of the stuff. They're hoping maybe they fix some of the issues with the new one, but... Gotcha. Yeah, no, I mean, I know the difference between, like, even just taking a selfie on my phone versus one on yours. Like, yours gets a much wider angle. Yeah. Well, that's... Because mine actually has two separate lenses on the front. One is a wide and one is a not. Yeah. Or like, one is a regular, I should say. <laughs> yeah. Um, which I can't believe no one's copied. Like that would be the thing I miss the most because like having a wide angle selfie is amazing. Yeah. But it's kind of funny what people are doing on. So for those of you who don't know, if you have a Samsung or an Apple, especially if you end up getting the new iPhone, they have the feature where they're saying, you know, you're in portrait style on the selfie camera. And when you turn it to landscape, it widens the camera. All they're doing is cropping in and out. Oh, okay. So it's cropped and then it's not cropped. Gotcha. Samsung did the same thing. But like Google's the only one that has the legitimate two separate lenses that do two separate things. Gotcha. And I'm like, I would totally copy that if I were any of them because it's amazing. Yeah. Especially like Apple's got that big old notch. You might as well throw it in there somewhere. Yeah. (laughs) For real. Yeah. Um, I do not foresee myself getting the 11 anytime soon. I have the eight plus. Yeah. So if anything, I'll probably get a thousand dollars. Yeah. I know. So. Which is pretty crazy. Yeah, it really is. I can remember thinking that like three, four hundred dollars was expensive for a smartphone. I know. Which I think the original iPhone was like six hundred dollars. That was still super expensive. Oh, well, yeah. More than. And you're like now like the highest like the. I, I am laughing at the name. iPhone 11 Pro Max is the biggest one. Oof. iPhone 11 Pro, Pro Max. Max. Okay. <laughs> you're like, okay. It's a mouthful. Or you could be like, Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, glad they got away from the Roman numerals, though. Because that yeah. screwed everybody up. Yeah. iPhone X? iPhone 10? 10? I don't... I, what hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> you just, like, threw a wrench in And then they your... flip-flopped it. And then it was, like, the iPhone 10s. So it was the iPhone XS. Yeah. Max. So is it so XS? Is that extra small? Right. Like I'm confused now. Yeah. No, I think that. Um, so when Brad and I got our iPhone eights, was like the day after, um, the iPhone ten and all of that yeah. came out. Um, you can get a good deal on the older ones. Though. Yeah. So I think we'll probably we'll just be like one behind because mm-hmm. it's. I it's insane. Know. It's insane for the price of it. And you're not really getting, I mean, I say that it's much insane more and I've done it, Yeah, but you know, yep. I'm, you st- have. I'm still super interested in the, the galaxy fold. Mm-hmm. They're re-releasing it now. Yeah. And they did a bunch of little changes and tweaks to it. And I'm like <laughs> a bunch of little. Yeah. You mean like the screen not cracking? Well, you know what I mean? I'm just saying like in half. the interesting thing was that they, I know that they like reinforced the hinge and did some other things to keep dust from getting underneath the screen. Cause like 
if you look at it, when it starts to fold, you, there's a space in between the hinge uh, and the okay. screen itself. And so they like fix that gap and everything. Gotcha. So in my mind, that seems like little additions to what it was okay. instead of, you know, it's not like they were like, well, we went back to the drawing board yeah. and we changed the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Like it's a new, you know, yeah. they at least yeah. were able to re-release it. So I think it's, it is currently out. In so they overseas. sent it to people to like try and review yeah. right before yep. they put it out. Okay. It's like all the big YouTubers. Yeah. They all get it beforehand. Like reviewing it. Yeah. Interesting. And after that, literally like everybody within the first couple of days, they all broke theirs. Yeah. The big thing was, is it looked like it had a screen protector on it and it was actually like an integral part of yes. the screen. Yes. And, and they people were peeling, were peeling it, off. it off and, and that's breaking what was it. breaking it. Yeah. Yeah. I it now goes, it now goes all the way underneath yeah. the bezel. Which I think it's super stupid they didn't do that from the get go. Yeah. Well, because like that's what, ever, I mean, every phone comes with one of those like, yep. you know. You're like, oh, I got to peel that peel off. Peel that off, which is also, can we talk about very satisfying? Oh my peeling gosh. Peeling that off. <laughs> Again, after, like uh, since, I'm trying to think, like literally since probably like eighth grade, freshman year, mm-hmm. I've been watching tech reviews online, yes. especially of smartphones. I believe that. And so I've seen all of it kind of come through. I mean, that's like probably what, 10 years, 10 plus years of watching this stuff. Mm-hmm. And they still, to this day, there's a lot of them that'll put the phone to the microphone and they'll yeah, peel, peel that off. <laughs> and you're like, it is, I don't know what it is, but there's I something so satisfying about it. <laughs> what did I, Ugh. I just got, while we're talking about tech, um, I just got the Google, um, the Nest Hub Max. Okay. So you know how you guys have the, if they've if they changed the name to the Nest oh, Hub. Oh, okay, okay. So it's, well, I don't even remember what it was before. I think it was just the Hub. Yeah, the Google. Home Hub. Yeah. Right. So now it's the Nest Hub. Okay. Um. So like the same thing that we have, but bigger. Same exact thing, but it's a ten inch instead okay. of a seven, and it has extra speakers and a subwoofer in the back. Gotcha. And a camera on it. Oh boy. Very cool. <laughs> very cool. It. I literally was like the day of. Although it was very funny, I forgot that it came out. Okay. Because they announced it like in May and it took, obviously now it's September. Oh, I remember you talking about that yes. now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's been a minute. It took forever. Yeah. I was on the waiting list, the whole thing. <laughs> then literally the day it comes out, like I was waiting for this. I'm like, September is going to be good. I got this going on, you know, the Apple event, like I'm going to watch right. that. And then this, and like, <laughs> I already got October planned. Microsoft has an event and Google has an event. Like this stuff goes in my calendar. Yeah. No, I believe that. Um, and Audrey texts me that night and she goes, Hey, did you get that? Google thing. Oh and gosh. I was like, Oh my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> she reminded me. <laughs> Way to go, Audrey. But it literally She's showed up MVP. in like a day. And how was it? It's fun. It's actually really cool. Like the girls and I have fun with it. Cause I don't normally let all like my stuff show personal photos. Okay. Cause you can do that on Chromecast. You can like your TV can be sliding through your photos. Yeah, yeah. And like in that album that it makes, there's like 10,000 photos. And so I'm going out of 10,000 photos, I've told it what faces to show, but like Mm -hmm. what's going to pop up. Oh my gosh. We have had to deal with that because on Brad's (laughs) like, because it's connected to his and he just picked faces too. And I'm like, whoa, (laughs) we need to figure this out. Right. Can we just like slow a roll a little bit? Oh my gosh. I'm not entirely worried about it, but I'm just like, my whole thing is I have pictures of the girls. And because I have pictures of the girls, the girls pop up and like, I'm always like hoping my ex doesn't pop up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because you're like, yeah. oh, that's a great reminder. Like, right. that's what I need. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but the girls <laughs> like it because they can see baby pictures of themselves right. and I put it in the kitchen and they, they can watch their cartoons on it. And so little things like that. Yeah. They, they're, they're just as bad as I am, especially oh, Lydia. Yes. Like she's like, oh daddy. And she's like, can I watch you hook it up? And she like sat with me through the whole process. <laughs> She loves it. She is your child. Yes. She told me the other day she was going to sell houses and work with me. I was like, Aww, yeah. That's cute. I'm like, can we go get your license now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hook you up right now. Oh, my God. You better start studying now if you want to actually get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, if she's anything like you. I know, right? <laughs> uh-huh. I know. I don't, don't normally lead with that on my, you know, like my initial like listing appointment. I'm like, Hey, I'm Cole Ankney and I'd love to sell you a house. Only took me four times to get my license. (laughs) (laughs) Only four tries. (laughs) Uh, There was somebody in the office. that took eight tries though. Jeez. Which by the way, it's $60 a pop. Did they do the math on that? 
do they study at all or are they just expecting they would know the answers to it? I have no clue. I felt bad There's a lot that. that like goes into it. Like it's not just. I knew that <laughs> at that point in time for me, it was like six was the bad. Like I knew somebody in the office that took it six times. And so I was like four I felt good about. Okay. It's actually really hard. Not going to lie. Yeah. You can study all you want, but like there's something about the test. I, I can't tell you like, I don't know. It's, it's not like a common sense thing. Like you want to use common sense, but like you can't. Well, that's what I mean. Like there's a lot of it that like you need to know about it. Oh yeah. And I just think people like whether you don't study or what, like I don't think, I don't think that the classes prepare you as well as they could mm. uh, because Dread. again, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Like literally <laughs> when you take the test, um, you'll walk, you walk away and you're like, I will never use any of this. Yeah. Seriously. Like not, not a bit. Cause like the law stuff is, is actually kind of common sense. Like, you know, yeah, you don't, you don't deposit people's money in your own account. You know, it's like, <laughs> you, you go through a brokerage, like, you know, you don't yeah. lie and steal. Okay. That sounds about right. Right. You know, like, like, okay, be ethical. Got okay, it. Great. Um, but some of the other stuff you're like, Betty and Bob want to buy a house <laughs> and they only have, you know, X amount of money yeah. and, or, or, you know, like, you know, somebody stole this from them or, mm-hmm. you know, they committed this crime and you're like, have to work your way through the problem, which I right. love story problems. Um, do you? Oh, I do. <laughs> I really do. Cause I love the fact that you have to like break it down. Like yeah. you write it all down and you break it down. You really have to pay attention to it. There's something about figuring it out. I'm like, yeah. The only thing I retained was the number 43,560. And I actually use that number because it's how many square feet is in an acre. Wow. Nice job. It was the only thing I retained because I, I will like use it. I feel like it's a little bit like taking your driver's test. Like if I had to take that now, I probably would fail. <laughs> Legit. I know. But like, I know the rules of the road and I know how to drive. That's the way they word everything. But yes. And like super weird things that like. I know. Spacing between you and a car and the distance of when you're supposed to turn a turn signal on and like whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Which 90% of people don't use their turn signal. Don't even use. Which is my biggest pet peeve (laughs) about drivers. Like use your turn signal. Oh, it kills me. Did you just make a song out of that? Use your turn signal. Use <laughs> your turn signal. Use it, please. <laughs> or I'll murder you. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa. Liv, you ever have that one of those turn. days where you just want to ram your car into somebody else's? Oh, 100%. Okay. And it's most of the time, actually, on my way here today, there was a guy that um, was weaving in his own lane like into like the middle of the road and then off to like the side. And it's like, is weaving. And I get up beside him and he's obviously like looking at his phone. That's like, but it's not like he has it up like in his hand. It's like sitting down like in the console and he's just like leaned over, like looking at it. So like whenever he's like leaned over, he starts like, Oh my god! Weaving over, I just like laid my horn down <laughs> for like thirty seconds. Oh my gosh! I'm one of those, by the way. <laughs> the other thing that I keep running into, and I don't know why, and tell me if you've noticed this too. Like you would think people would have things to do during the day, but most people, I've, I keep getting behind people that are driving five to ten miles per hour under the speed limit, Ugh. and I'm like, you know, there's there's certain things I look for. I'm looking for a handicap license mm-hmm. plate, maybe something hanging from, you know, or looking in their rearview mirror to see if maybe they're elderly. Like, mm-hmm. I want to give you an out. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Yeah. But there's been so many times where it's just, it, you know, it's, it's not raining. It's not snowing. There's no, there's no road hazard. Right, right, right. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, I understand. Like, I'm not going to ride you to go five over the speed limit. Like that's fine. If you're going the speed limit, I understand that. But like there's a speed limit for a reason. You know, some of us do have places to get to, but when you're fluctuating between that five to 10 under, yes, you're driving me nuts. I know. And you, gosh, I will get right up on you. Oh, like (laughs) as close as I can. Cause I'm like, this car is 11 years old. has 182,000 miles. I dare you to break check. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. Let's (laughs) roll. I got good insurance. 
<laughs> but like on the flip side of that, I feel like we've talked about this before when you're already going over the speed limit and someone's riding your tail. Like I'm on 65 going 90 miles an hour <laughs> and they are on my tail. I will not yes. move. I'm like, dude. No, I won't either. I will brake check those people that are riding my butt. <laughs> I'm like, cause if you hit me, that's your fault. Right, that's your problem. That's your fault. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'm going well, like over the speed limit. Like if there were a cop, he was probably there to pull me over. Right. Seriously. Sorry, oh my mom gosh. and dad. Right. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> So for those, for those of you that might be following a white Ford Focus that is, Don't <laughs> is brake checking me. you. I didn't. I didn't say your license. There's so many white Focuses. <laughs> they say your license plate number, you know. <laughs> I don't even know it. Yeah, but. Well, I'm glad. I feel like that'd be kind of weird if you It's did. okay. I drive a red Ford Focus. How about, there you go. There we go. And mine is very noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that sounds like a race car. <laughs> <laughs> A race car that's falling apart, but that's okay. Not not a good race car. No, 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 no. It normally is like knocking somewhere like, like, or like there's something in the front of it. that's like, (laughs) it kind of sounds like that. I should probably get it fixed, but you know, probably you're kind of like at a point now where it's just like, it has its quirks and I'm going to eventually get a new car. So I'm just going to roll with it. (laughs) The only thing is, is literally like (laughs) there's something rubbing on the front left wheel. I think it's like a bearing or something that's going bad. And I haven't had time to take it in, but it's so loud that I literally can't use the speakerphone in the car. Like people are like, what is that noise? Yeah. <laughs> no. I was talking to Levi the other day and he goes, are you popping popcorn in your car? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I just about spit my coffee out onto the microphone. I was like, No, it's my front wheel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I feel like we need to get that <laughs> like video of me doing that and put that in slow motion. Uh, wow. All right. It's bad. That was funny. I was not expecting that. But literally though, like I'm sure there's so many of you out there that can sympathize with me. I, I do not have a bad track track record, uh, track record financially. I had some hard times and I'm still digging my way out of that. It's not bad. Like I know so many like people leave school with a hundred thousand dollars in debt. Mm-hmm. We're talking like in the thousands, but low thousands here. Yeah. Like, and I can't like they keep hitting me on my credit and all this sort of stuff like about buying a car, and it's killing me. Like mm-hmm. it's crazy out there. Like I understand so much more of it now than I did before from being in the real estate industry um, because you have to learn a lot about people's credit and a lot of what goes into that. Right. And it's the most insane system I've ever seen. Yeah. I do not understand. Like Mm -mm. it doesn't make any sense. And no one ever knows, like no one teaches you about it in school. Like no one gives you the information before you're out there on your Mm -mm. own. There's like, get a credit card. And then what's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to max that dude out. (laughs) You know, you are like at some point that thing will be maxed out. Cause you go, I got this extra money here. And you're like, swipe. Oh gosh. It's too easy. You're like, good. I'm making my payments. Everything's looking good. We're good. You know? And you're like, yeah, you know, uh, Discover sends you something in the mail. They're like, you've been pre-approved. Rock and roll, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just saying. Oof. It's not that bad. Like there's not that much there, but it's just annoying that I'm like, it's there and I make, I make my payments. You know, there were, like I said, maybe a year or two ago, there was some rough stuff going on, but it's justified. Um, and so it's like, what in the world? So I've been playing that game forever now. Yeah. But you're like, what do you do when you get to that point? Like, do I put another four or $500 in the car and like keep it running or do I just drive it till the wheel falls off? Right. (laughs) Although I don't want to, you know, I don't want it to be at 90 mile an hour on 65 (laughs) and die. Yeah. (laughs) Like, why do you die? The focus killed him. The focus killed him. It knew it was getting replaced and it killed him. (laughs) Oh my gosh. They're going to refer back to this episode. But yeah, the two things that people probably be like, oh my gosh, it's such a great thing. Like you buy a car, buy a house. Like, no, it's the two most stressful purchases yeah. you'll ever make in your life. Yeah. Especially buying a house. Mm-hmm. It's insane. Yeah. I, I had a first time buyer one time. They were like, somebody told me that this was going to be fun. And I'm like, you don't no. listen to those people. Once you get it all done, it's great. But you have to get through the 30 to 45 day period of like getting closed on the house because right. everything in between like picking it out, like picking out's fun, but like in between that and actually being in the house is the most stressful 30 days right. of your life. Yeah. 
you're going to be just ripping your hair out. Yeah. Like the dude called me every day and I didn't blame him at all. Yeah. I'm like, I get it. Like, this is insane. And he, he's like, I just wanted it to be fun. I'm like, I get it. It's not. Yeah. Unless you have <laughs> piles not. of cash laying around and you can right. just go, I'm going to buy this house with cash. Yeah. It's you're just going to like throw it in the air and yeah, right. do like <laughs> a dance. <laughs> yeah. Which is not most people. Uh, no. Oh, this seems like a lot of people do that nowadays, but good for them, right? Yeah. Not I mean, first time buyers though. Yeah. Which I get, right? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do that. Oh, <sighs> uh, anyways, we keep going down a little rabbit holes. Um, what do we got here? Uh, oh, okay. While we're talking about houses though, I wanted, okay. I wanted to get your insight on this. Like maybe not insight, but your opinion. Okay. So, um, I think we talked about this before on the show. Uh, for those of you that maybe be listening for the first time or haven't heard some of the other episodes, in addition to the real estate, I also do real estate photography. So I shot my first multi-million dollar home this week. I saw it. It was 11,000 plus square feet. Basement, two story, like it was on five acres. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It was a cool place. Not my jam, okay. but very cool. Um, just It was just cool to like be a part of like checking it out, right? Yeah. I have a comment. Yeah, go for it. On expensive homes. Yeah. What do you got? But, you know what? Let me, let me, you just, you ask me or get my opinion on something because I'm wondering if it's the same thing. I'm guessing it probably is. Okay. Um, it was just, so like doing it, like I'm like, this is cool, but I'm like looking at all this space and square footage and everything and just going like, like some of the rooms were pretty empty mm -hmm. and I'm like, what, what do you do with all this? Yeah. Like, oh, they probably had two kids. They were older. Okay. But I'm like, what in the world? And like, I've always felt like get a smaller house and just go nuts on the finishes. Okay. You know, like have very high end finishes. Like if you have that sort of money, right? Like sure. have land. Like these people had neighbors that you could see. Okay. And I'm like, mm, I don't know if, you know, like, I don't know if I could imagine. It's a gated community. Nice place. Yeah. Like I said, but like, if you're going to spend upwards of a couple million, like, hey, I, don't I, see I would hate neighbors. to, yeah, like, I don't want to see yeah, my neighbors, like, same. you know, not that I don't like having neighbors, but like, I, at that point in time, like, what's the, what's the point of being right. able to see somebody if you have these, like, want to be able to walk outside naked, you know, <laughs> <laughs> sure, kidding. I see, what I, <laughs> I see I'm where your kidding. goals are there, just yeah. kidding, um, but yeah, it's just kind of interesting to kind of see see that whole thing but like yeah. that was kind of my opinion of it what, what okay. were you gonna say well a couple of things yeah now you. knowing what you've said yeah um yeah i don't get the whole like unused extra rooms like i don't understand that portion of it yeah granted like if you're buying a home with more rooms in like hopes of filling them with children that's different yeah i get that um they were past that point. Though. Right. So I kind of get that. Um, I was going to say though, so like Brad looks at houses probably daily. Yeah. And whenever I go and like look at them, I was like, we should just like look at super like expensive, crazy houses just to like look at them. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. Super yeah. fun. And every time we look at them, I am like, who did the decorating, decorating on the inside? hateful it is so it is so hateful it makes me upset it's always really gaudy Ugh. And it's it like super like victorian i was gonna say victorian <laughs> like just dingy looking to me because it's like very like it's old dark looking. heavy colors and wood and mm -hmm. not fresh and bright and none of it yeah, and you only really find those types of homes in like a newer home that's like a 500,000 to maybe like $800,000 home like a lot of those I'll see, or maybe even down to the 300s, like where you'll see those bigger homes that have bright white finishes yes. that are more up to date. Yes. And it's just out of, it's just out of date. It's like you get to that $2 million range yeah. and people are like, I want it to look like the King's castle. Well, yeah. Or <laughs> they like, they spend all the money on the house and nothing on the inside. Right. Like, yeah. oh my gosh. I'm like, what and are you doing? I wonder if that's maybe like an Indiana thing. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Because sometimes I'll look at other markets, you know, like I'll go on Zillow and like go, yeah. I don't know. I want to see, you know, $2 million homes in, you know, Colorado or right. Texas or something yeah. like that. And sometimes you'll see stuff that's a little more updated, but there's some weird ones. <sighs> yeah, for sure. 
Have you ever, I don't know how far you've looked into it. I think there's one house, and I don't know if it's still for sale, but it's like a $14 million house here in Indy. Um, I'm trying to think. It's on the north side-ish, and uh, over by the Indianapolis Museum of Art. Okay. I don't think I've looked at it, but I'm not surprised. It was super modern. Okay. Super modern, except like you go in and it was like outdated modern type of thing. You know, and I was Gosh. like, this would be so cool. Yeah. And it had a bunch of land, the like, and then it was super fancy, but I was like, what is up with the interior decorating? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so hateful. I don't get it. it. That's so funny is. that you say that. I didn't even think about it until you started to say it, and I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. It's oh, so, yeah. it's so bad. So much so that even Brad recognizes mm. the bad that decor. He's like, <clears throat> what? Who right. did what is this? this? <laughs> Who did this? And like you, you got me thinking too. So I was listening to like every once in a while when I'm in the car because they're long episodes, I'll listen to Rogan. Okay. And he had Steve Aoki. You know who he is? I don't. He's a DJ. Okay. So he was like one of the, he was probably part of that whole like beginning of it. Okay. Um, right at the cusp of like electronic music when it was getting okay. really big. Okay. Um, probably right in line with like Skrillex and all like the originals. Gotcha. Okay. At least in my, in my opinion. Um, and so he was talking to Rogan about he actually has like a residency in uh, Vegas now. And so he just plays his shows there at specific venues and they, you know, they mm-hmm. have him. It's like Celine Dion, right? She plays yeah. a show every night at this place and she right. lives there. Yeah. Um, that's how long he's been in it. So he was talking about how he built his house there and he was like, I built this compound and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, I bought it. it was, he said it was like a foreclosure home. And so he bought it for like 2 million and he goes, I put like 5 million in it. Same. And I was like, Oh my gosh. But like, the way he explained it was super cool. Like he bought it. He bought his mom a house down the street and like, he's trying to get his family to move down and like, he has people over a lot. So like, he's like, I like my friends to come over and have a place to come hang out. And like, right. so like that made sense to me. You know what I mean? Like, like having a bigger home or like more space. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, you know, that guy knows a lot of people. Oh, for sure. And I guarantee you, like, I know he has a crazy studio in there for his music. Mm-hmm. Like, he was like, I have a bounce room with like trampolines in it and like, oh my gosh. like that. I'm like, yeah, he did that right there. Not my word. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and he's not married, doesn't have kids. So like that could still happen in the future. So he'd have yeah. the space. Um, it's still crazy. Don't get me wrong. Oh, for sure. But I'm like, you also have to, at that point in time, like you also have to spend the money. Like, you know, you have to spend a certain amount. Like I know you could probably give a lot to charity and things like that, but like you have to spend the money you have or like they tax you real heavy on stuff. There's like certain parts of that that you have to do. Gotcha. Like if you have it, you kind of got to spend it. On a balance room. I would. (laughs) Of course you would. Seriously though. Like if I was like, (laughs) Hey Liv, come over and we'll like, we'll chill. Like you guys come over and like freaking bounce room. That's cool. It is. If you have the money. It's extra. Oh, it's so extra. But like, think about it. I mean, if it's, if, if it was sitting in your account, like, how would you not come up with some crazy ideas to spend it? I mean, yeah. I don't think a bounce room would be my first. No, I'm not saying it's your first, <laughs> right? It's not the first thing that's going to come to your <laughs> no. mind. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, I know I, you just have a big old closet. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny you say that because yeah. I was literally just talking to Brad last night and we were talking about, you know, our ideas if we were to build a house and whatever. And I was like, listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Listen, Linda, <laughs> I want a whole room dedicated to my closet. I want it like nice built-ins, like <laughs> well lit. I've seen a couple closets like that. Yeah. And baller. like windows, right? And Smart. I want to have um, like my makeup vanity and like all of my storage and stuff in yeah. there. I can already picture it. In yeah. My head. Yep. I'm so, because this is the most expensive home I've shot, but I've shot some other ones that are that were pretty nice. Yeah, definitely not in the seven figure range, but like you'd walk in, you're like, mm-hmm. whoa, yeah, like this closet is crazy. Mm-hmm. Like it's that typical every like you said, everything's built in, and then there's always like a centerpiece, yep. like a center island, I guess I would call it, mm-hmm. and like you put all your jewelry, jewelry and like yeah, yeah. accessories. Mm-hmm, yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he was like, so you want a whole room dedicated to that? And I was like. Make it happen, baby. Make it. <laughs> you got happen. it. Make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's 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 an interesting life, you know. Yeah. They have a house that they're trying to sell. That's like a, I think they started like eight hundred thousand. It's like six fifty now, but they literally 
had that one, bought this other one, and now they want to sell this one too and do something else because he's bored. Uh, okay. I could not imagine. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? Could not imagine. It's crazy. I mean, like to be bored and just to sell. After having like an almost $2 million house for like eight months. <gasps> for eight months? Not even a year yet. What? Hasn't even lived there a year. Oh my word. I mean, what's the point? I don't know. You know, like you're not even, I mean, I guess if you're spending that much on like Still. on a home, like I don't think you're really worried about the money side of it, but I mean yeah. like, but he's got two homes, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. It's, it's so hard to, it's so hard to fathom. I feel like, like, yeah, that's the, and that's kind of why I brought it up today because like that mindset is so hard to even imagine. Like you, you try to get your head wrapped around it, but it's so difficult because yeah. you don't, you can't even, you know what I mean? You're like, gosh, I just feel good when I can pay all my bills and like <laughs> still have money left over. Yeah. It's crazy. Yep. But they were nice people. Thank goodness. Yeah. So a lot of times that's not Maybe the case. someday we'll have million Maybe. dollar homes with bounce rooms. It's first thing now. Fingers crossed. Bounce room. Right? Just a whole like, just everything. We'll, we'll reconvene on that in a couple of years, yeah. y'all. Everything Let bouncy. You know. <laughs> I'm going to have a bounce house, a trampoline. Uh, um, I don't know. Whatever else is bouncy. <laughs> Maybe the whole floor. The whole floor would look like it's carpet, and then oh when gosh, you walk in, no. it'll be a trampoline. I would be like vomiting <laughs> in your home. <laughs> He's so not just like. Why is the carpet so nasty <laughs> yeah. in here? Everybody who walks in, throws he just up. like throws up. It was a really <laughs> bad decision. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. All right, weird question. Go for it. Would you rather have a house made entirely of chocolate or cheese? Mm, that's a tough one. Chocolate. Yeah. I think I could deal with chocolate longer than I could with cheese. Like I'd get bored of the cheese real quick. I also think, um, I don't know. I guess if we're talking about it in terms of being in the sun, the cheese would smell. Oh yeah. Really but, bad. But if it was chocolate, it would melt. melt. <laughs> Yikes. Like obvious reasons why they don't build houses out of chocolate. And cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're on Willy Wonka. <laughs> right. Or if you could, you'd have to live in a Like somewhere like really cold. Right. Yeah. Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> Your chocolate home. But you like, you uh, wouldn't even be able to like make a fire. Like, no. you know what I mean? <laughs> you'd just be cold always. And all your furniture was made out of chocolate. <laughs> like you sit down and you start to melt into your furniture. Uh, that was a good question. Just like, uh, yeah, you're just like sitting there just like eating your couch. <laughs> Man, how did we get off on that? Ugh, I don't know. Okay, so um, Liv sent me this interesting video about Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, sorry, it's just Dunkin'. Dunkin'. Now. It's a Dunkin'. <laughs> it's just called Dunkin' now. <laughs> My bad. Um, I I don't know. I feel like, are you trying to convert me? What's going on? I know you said that you guys have been going to Dunkin' lately, and it sounds like they're trying to redo their business model. So I just thought it was interesting. That's why I was sending it to you. Because... I lame. Oh, cool. <laughs> I at least think it's good that they're trying to, like, revamp and modernize and yeah. do different things there to be competitive in this competition is always good it market. helps i think competition in any market helps a ton yeah because it'll push everybody to innovate but like that's like to me i'm like yes like they are Trying. i think they're doing good things like they are like redoing their stores to make them look more high-end and like order or offering more coffee and less donuts and they changed their name just to Duncan. And I know that like, you don't like this, but they're pink and orange. I really vibe with. <laughs> I know. I, I do know. like the colors. I think it's fun. I think it's different. I thought the most interesting part of that video, is like a CNBC video and they did a whole like profile of Duncan and they talked to some of their higher ups and things like that. And they kind of compared them. Mm-hmm. But I thought the most interesting thing was like the market cap comparison Mm -hmm. you know like what starbucks was like you know 80 billion and i think duncan was like six billion yeah i just couldn't and you know of course mcdonald's was like a hundred plus billion i was like oh my gosh yeah which i'm like they were comparing duncan with starbucks and mcdonald's Mm -hmm. which i felt was kind of weird with mcdonald's well you know what you say that but i honestly like i know a lot of people that that's their stop for coffee in the morning Interesting, because they they have I mean, a lot. I know of they have stuff. coffee, but it's not like <clears throat> they're doing 
like coffee and like some food. Like their majority of their food. food. Right. So, but the thing is, is like, where else can you go through a drive through and get a dollar coffee though? Um, Cause I know, I know there's a lot of people that'll go to like a gas station and get coffee. Right. But the thing is, is like, if you're in a hurry, you're with kids, whatever in the morning, a lot of, yeah. you know, you're like, Oh, I can shoot through a drive through and think no, about it. I mean, I get like, I know they have coffee. It just seemed like it was a different. Well, I get it. Right. I mean, I, I think especially when you're comparing, like you said, like, or like the market caps, like obviously, you know, McDonald's is selling a right. lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, again, you know, I think. I think Duncan is even closer to the McDonald's just in the respect of like food because I still don't like Starbucks has stuff, but it doesn't fit. That's like the, not the first thing I ever think about. Going right. There. Well, see, and that's why I think that they're trying to like revamp their, I don't know, model yeah. and everything, which I get because there was no competition. I mean, between Starbucks and them because Starbucks was just like, duh, duh. you know, they were yeah. doing all the stuff with the app and the loyalty program mm-hmm. and all the different things. And you're like, well, why would I go anywhere else? Like it's, I mean, think about it, especially with social media, mm-hmm. like everybody posts about Starbucks. Oh yeah. And their, their marketing is second to none. I mean, it's right. fantastic. Yeah. Their colors, like all the different things they're doing. I mean, it's all very high quality, mm-hmm. awesome stuff and their graphics. I love their graphics. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I'm not hating on Starbucks. I just no, think I get it's it. good that Duncan's, like, trying. trying to, like, up their game and, yeah. and It'll do be more to stay. I know. I I think that we'll see more of Duncan in the future, and we'll see a change of, like, trying to be a little bit more, yeah. like, higher end, quote, unquote. Bougie. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I really do. But that's the funny thing, right? I mean, we talked about it earlier. Yeah, I love Starbucks, but I've also dialed back because it's expensive. Yeah. That's the hard part is you're going, you know, if I spend five dollars a day on coffee throughout the week, like what does that look like? A lot. <laughs> and part of me part of me too is now kind of especially since we started this, like I'm thinking more about the local people. Mm-hmm. Yep. So still waiting on that coffee house five to open up in Franklin. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. Speaking of um, Starbucks though. So they came out with like all their fall yes. drinks, whatever. Real early. But it's September. Like that's usually when they do it. Yeah, but didn't they release, they released some of it in August. I thought like pumpkin spice latte was like August. Was and it? And they said it was the earliest release that they ever had. Oh. Yeah. Audrey so, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not like a huge pumpkin spice latte person. Yeah. Like it's not, like I don't hate it, but it's not my jam usually. However, their new like pumpkin cream cold brew. Yeah. Yeah. You've mentioned that multiple times now. I haven't tried it. It is so good. And they sent, you know, Starbucks gives you like a free drink on your birthday. Yes. I, f- I always forget about that. So... I got a venti of that guy. Oh, yeah. If you ever get a free, like, yeah. you get the biggest. You, you get the most. It doesn't matter whether everything. you waste it. You just get it. <laughs> like, I need this, yeah. this, this, this. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> I've been, like, drinking those lately. I need to stop because I'm about to get, like, addicted and need them, like, all the time. <laughs> They're really good. So, if you don't like pumpkin spice lattes, like, that's a good right, try like, that. alternative to it. Hmm. I also did it the other day. And, um, they said they were out of cold brew. They would do it with iced coffee and an extra shot. Yeah. And I actually was like, wait, this is really good. Oh, wow. So right now you that's got another multiple. option. And that's actually a cheaper option too. Fun fact. Oh, well that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cause the other stuff's kind of expensive, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, but cold brew is usually ex- more expensive than iced coffee. Yeah. That makes sense. So. Right. They're not just, it's like a whole process to it. Yeah. I don't quite understand. No. That, but. It's very detailed. I don't think I've even had one, to be honest with you. A cold brew? Yeah. Like, I've never, like, gone and ordered one from a Starbucks or anything. What? Yeah. I yes, you ha- have. No. I kind of have my staple, and, like, that's normally what I stick to, and it's but either hot or cold. I thought when it came out with, like, the uh, the cloud whatever thing. Oh, was that a cold that, brew? I think that one was a cold brew. Oh. Uh, yeah, the, the cloud macchiato. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was good. I don't know. Maybe it was. A lot of people didn't, and like Audrey didn't like it, but I liked it. I like some of the stuff is fun. It's like different. Like yeah, when I had the foam on top. The foam was good. Yeah. Like it was a different. I don't know how they did it, but woo, it was tasty. Oh my god, that was so loud. <laughs> woo. I tried to go easy too. Uh, Try not to blow your ears out, Liv. Appreciate it. <laughs> Lord. Oh, so while we're talking about that. 
it, what, we have like a couple more weeks before it's like officially fall? Yes. Not even a couple more weeks. Technically, it's fall on September 20th. Dang. So that's what? Yeah, it's like Friday, next right? Next week? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like next Friday. That's weird. Holy moly. We were out shopping yesterday and they already have Christmas stuff out. Oh my gosh. Christmas in September. I thought it was crazy that Kroger had like Halloween stuff. Yeah. But like Christmas. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. I don't get that. Like, let's, let's, let's talk about this. Like, yeah. Okay. It gets earlier and earlier every year. Like, what's I, the point? I agree. I will say this. I am not, I do not get hostile about it because like, whatever, like it's not that big of a deal to me. It seems crazy that it's out in September, but I will say if you want to get everything like planned and like get all your decorations together so that way after Thanksgiving you want to decorate, then you can do it right then rather than waiting till December for them to come out with all the Christmas stuff and then you have to go and get it and all of that. So I get it from that point of view, but there are people that get really upset about it (laughs) or like decorating Christmas before Thanksgiving is here or like whatever. I don't know. It's just, I just feel like it's all so rushed, you know? And I'm like, we're not even like, we're not even there. Yeah. I think I'm going to decorate for fall this weekend. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I know you do all that. I do. I don't even have a Christmas tree. (gasps) You don't? I need to get one. Yeah, you do. I mean, I spent Christmas out of town last Last year. year. And so I threw it away right before then because it had been used for at least four years. I love our Christmas. I need to get something this year. I just don't know what the girls have been asking me. I have them this year. So I was like, I got to do it up right for yeah. them, you know, but I want it, you know, it's got to be techie though. Like I want to be able to control the lights and oh everything. My word. Yeah. So I have to like figure out how all that's going to work. <laughs> okay. Until then fall and Halloween, are you guys dressing up? I don't usually, um, you know, usually I live vicariously through the girls. Um, but this year might be a little different because this year I think I'll actually have the first opportunity ever to actually hand out candy. Okay. Yeah. And part of me wants to like, you know, mm-hmm. change my lights outside to like orange and purple or like let them flicker and like put my speaker in the, in the uh, bushes and like play scary music. S- spooky music. Yeah. And then like hand out candy. Like I've always wanted to do that. Do it. You should dress up. Which I think... If that's the case, then I probably would, because that would be way more fun. Yeah. And my buddy had a good thing one time, like he, uh, they, we, I went over there one year and we sat out there and handed candy to the kids. He also had a table with jello shots on him and he'd nice. give that to the parents. Yeah. I went, <laughs> um, I forget where I was at, but I was walking around a neighborhood with someone and, um, the adults had like spiked, like, uh apple cider like hot apple cider that's for like all i know for like all the parents like walking around with their kids i'm like "Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep that's what's up (laughs) i'm just gonna come out for that i don't even have kids or trick-or-treating i'm just taking your like hey (laughs) you're like hey can i borrow your kids (laughs) you got enough nieces and nephews i'm sure they know i could just borrow one one of them you'd be good to go yeah that seems extra just for (laughs) i know right (laughs) Spiked Something you could probably cider. make at home, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm I'm actually really excited about that because I can do like the lights on the inside yeah. of the house too. Like they can all flicker. Fun. And there's literally like in the app, there's a spooky button, and you hit it, and it makes them naturally makes them flicker. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fun. I do it to the girls. <laughs> there's a strobe mm-hmm. one. I hit the strobe, and they're like party time. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> yeah, there was like stop it, Dad. Yeah, like just I believe stop that. it. But it is so funny. Like they'll come and they're like, "Please turn on my light." I'm like, "Okay." And like now, Lydia will do it. Like she's like, "Hey Google, oh, my word. turn on the bedroom light," and it <laughs> comes on. It's so funny to hear her say it. They used to call it Goo Goo. Oh, hey Goo Goo. Goo Goo. Yeah, that's funny. It would never work. I was gonna say, like, did... they're like, "Come on!" Yeah, <laughs> like it's so come mad. on, Goo Goo. <laughs> <laughs> like sorry uh, girls <laughs> that's good <coughs> excuse me sorry Oof. i know i was getting all excited stop you get all excited stop talking like that <laughs> this bother you <laughs> yes. it sounded really creepy uh 
Okay. I think that's it. I know. I think we're, I think we've, we've, we're yeah, out. Yeah. We're done here. But uh, good to be back. Um, I think we're... I think we're good to keep moving. Um, we'll see. I need to find out. We have a wedding next week, so I need to find out what time I got to be there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Maybe you just be stuck with Liv. <laughs> oh, boy. It's a no for me, dog. Uh, it's just me talking by myself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that Buckle get, up. That could get weird. <laughs> Buckle up, people. <laughs> Buckle your seatbelts. Here comes Liv. Stop. We need to end uh, the episode now. I know. Sorry. 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 Thank uh, you all for listening. As always, um, we are trying to plan some more stuff for this last part of the year. Um, I know September came so fast. I know. I'm like, how are we already here? Yeah, I know. And we're looking into October already. It's scary. Oof. I know. So yeah. So uh, we're gonna try to keep up with everything. Got a lot going on. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's it. But like I said, I, 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 we really need to do a giveaway, and I know we've talked about it for months now, yeah. uh, but we're going to put something together. get our together. crap together. We're going to put something together very soon and do something fall. Uh, we'll have some yeah. fun with that and uh, we'll get everybody engaged. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, you want to come on the show, um, you know, or we would love to have you on. Uh, just yeah. go ahead and send us a message. Um, we're really nice, and we provide uh, free coffee. Yeah. So, you know coffee on what every more episode. could you want we'll make sure we got it for you um uh, we like to ask you to like what do you like so um yeah come cool. on the show send us a message reach out to us send some comments uh we like interacting with everybody so um i know That's i gotta it. get i gotta get caught up on the youtube if you listen on youtube we'll put the amon episode on youtube and mm-hmm. we'll get some of this other stuff going and uh yeah so as usual appreciate you listening and have a good day we out we out skis Oh, cheers.